Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get these big voluminous curls by only using two items and it doesn't involve a curling iron. You're going to be using tin foil and a straining iron. So let's jump right in. So to start, I have a bunch of tin foil strips that I just cut out from the roll, all kind of different sizes. I have my flat iron, a brush, and that's it. So I'm just going to start by brushing through my hair to get it nice and smooth. And I'm not wearing any extensions today, but I'm sure you could do this with your extensions. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate my bangs because they always tend to get in the way and I don't want the bangs to curl. I can curl those on their own after the fact. So I'm just going to clip those away. I'm going to start with the bottom part of my hair. So I'm going to start by sectioning off the bottom and just clipping away the top. So just kind of the amount that you would take in a curling iron. So maybe like one inch. And then what you're going to do is take two fingers. You're just going to wrap the hair around and holding on to that little loop. You're going to take your tin foil and wrap it around the hair so it's completely covered. And then you get a little space like. <laughs> then I'm just going to let down a bit more hair, clip it away, and then split it in half and kind of pull it to the front because that's the easiest way for me to work with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of my tinfoil curls and then I'm going to go through and heat them with the iron and then I'll wait and then I'll release them. away from my face because it opens up the face and it's really like pretty for fair it's really pretty for framing the face but it's totally up to you bubs, bubs, bulbs. We're going to go in with a flat iron and iron each one. So I'm going to start at the bottom and basically you just squeeze 
the tin foil piece. Several times. And then move on to the next one. So now that I've heated all the pieces of tin foil, I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes to let it fully cool, and then I'll come back and take them out. Okay, it's been several minutes, so I'm going to start removing the tin foil and show you what we are left with. this much volume when I curl my hair with a curling iron without teasing it or something so I'm really pleased with the results so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up and please share it if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye